All right, y'all. First step is, well, first, safety's number one. When you come to Old Possum Channel, make sure you have your proper PPE on. And whatever you're doing, you got low light, don't be using dark shades either. I just ain't smart. So anyway, we're going to take this blade, we're going to clean it up some. We better plug in the old electric first, eh? You don't want to get that metal hot. You see, we're not going to do anything to this. We ain't going to anneal it. We ain't going to harden it. We ain't going to temper it. I made a Bowie knife out of this steel for a buddy of mine. And we put that thing through some tests. I was going to Harden it and temper it. I sharpen it up. It couldn't hurt that thing. So you can put your hand right on that. We're just cleaning this steel off. Think of that. Found that little treasure too. If you're going to be self reliant, you're going to have a lot of stuff laying around. That's just the way it is. Y'all see that pretty patina? I like that old look. Now we're gonna work on these rough edges. Alright y'all, we got our basic shape, we got our angle going good. Now you don't want a real long sloping profile on a chopper. You want a short wedge shape, kind of like an axe. 
So don't taper this out a long ways. You want to come up here short, wedge out, that way you can chop. And it don't hurt your blade any. If you have this like a knife blade, then you're going to get a lot of bends and breaks and getting notches in it to keep it short and wedge shaped. So we, but we got her going down pretty good. I don't know if y'all can see the angle of that. It's just a thick blade, comes down, goes off to a taper real fast. That's what you want for a chopper. What we're gonna do is get the file out and we're gonna go ahead and keep taking some of this metal off. Y'all hear that? Like glass. But if you put a little bit of pressure on it, you can cut. That means that metal's still hardened. Because every, every step of this whole process, we've been able to lay our hand up here on this steel and not get burned. That's where you gotta take your time. You ain't gotta harden your steel. Should we temper it? Probably. Do we have to? Probably not. But we just about got our edge where we want it. That's an, an unmistakable sound. That's a hardened blade. We're getting there, y'all. Man, this thing's turning out so good, I may just temper it. If I can. That's a pretty thick piece of steel. However, I temper my old ones. When I had my forge, I'd stick me a big steel plate in there and get it red, scalding hot. I set the back of my knife blades down on that piece of red hot steel. And then I'd watch that heat draw up through that steel. What you want is a straw color. You don't want blue, you don't want purple. You want a straw color right up here on your blade. That's the perfect. I always try to get that, that straw color in there. And how you do that, you lay it over on its back. The heat just penetrates up through there and you can watch them colors of that steel change. When it gets up there and it gets kind of straw, golden color, pull her off, that's all you need. So anyway, this is another knife I made. I'll tell y'all what. Maybe we'll have to do a, a giveaway or something, if I can figure all that out. I ain't sure how to do all that yet, but maybe we can give away a knife. We're going to have to have some kind of celebration. Maybe 300 subscribers, subscribers or something. Something like that, anyway. But that's about all the time I got tonight. Like I said, we got this thing close to a good edge. I don't know if that'll show up in the camera. And, and this thing ain't brittle either. That's a good piece of steel. We're gonna drill a holes in here for our handles and up here in the front. But other than that, that's about all I got tonight. 
appreciate y'all stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one.